بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية إمام الكاظم أقسام الدواني قسم اللغة الإنجليزية سعد محمد حسين مادة التطبيق براكتيكا مرحلة الرابعة today uh, we have uh, uh, the first lecture which is about the role and responsibilities of teachers and students inside the class room okay in the classroom management this is very important you as a teachers when we, when you become teachers in the future you have to know first your role what to do your responsibilities your duties your tasks okay what is your responsibility as a teacher and what is the responsibilities of students inside classroom this topic is very very important it has so many opinions so many different opinions uh, from from the beginning of teaching the way of teaching till now okay there are so many views traditional views modern views towards the roles and responsibilities of teachers and students what is important about uh, about uh, the, the role and responsibilities of teachers and students is the modern view which is very important you have to know that now in Iraq okay maybe in most of countries around the world the, the way or the method of teaching or what the teachers and students do inside the classroom is just a traditional way of teaching and they, they everyone i mean uh, all the students and teachers do not know their tasks do not know their roles or responsibilities now the teachers does not know even the students they don't know what to do inside the classroom some teachers i mean here the teach the, the, their roles some teachers their roles inside classroom is what their role is active while the role of the student is what is passive the role of the teacher is what active and the role of students is what is passive this is a traditional way of teaching I mean by this that the role is active it means that the, the teachers or the teacher is the only person who is talking inside the classroom he is the only one who speaks or asks okay and sometimes he uh, he doesn't find any answer from the students so he is the center of the class I mean here the teacher he is the center of a class he just goes to to goes to to class explains giving uh, grammatical rules uh, reading okay writing asking some questions and then he ends the lesson or the lecture this is the traditional way this means that the teachers or the teacher is the only person who leads the class so his role here is what is active but we find that the students what the, their role is what their role is passive they don't do anything they just listen okay and when they participate they really participate they seldom participate and use for example english language to answer certain questions raised by a teacher so they are just passive they listen they write sometimes they read okay but all in all their role is what is considered as passive role this is completely um, wrong now the the new methods the new views uh, about the, the way of teaching the methods of teaching is what is different okay the way of teaching the method of teaching now is what is changed here nowadays the role of the teacher is what is considered as passive teacher role is what is passive while the student is what active the role of the students should be what should be active 
the teacher should not only the person who speaks inside the classroom. No, not only the teacher who speaks, but the students. Okay, the students should speak, should do everything inside the classroom, not the teachers. The teachers just they guide, they monitor, they ask some questions, and the students have to what have to answer the questions, have to participate, have to communicate with each other to solve a problem, etc. This is very important. You have to know this and you have to put it in your mind that these are the roles and responsibilities of teachers and students. As I told you in Iraq, we have this problem even nowadays uh, in our colleges, for example, the English department or all departments, just they want the teachers to explain everything and this is wrong the teacher should not explain everything why because you as a student you have a mind you have a brain you have brain you have mind you can read you can develop yourself okay without the need of teacher you need him of course but you should not depend on him totally and this is wrong you should not depend on him totally, but you have to depend on him in certain points, certain uh, things, okay? Not in everything, and this is completely wrong, okay? And this is very important, as I told you. So, uh, now let's, we'll talk about these points in details, of course, in uh, the next lectures. Uh, now I'm going to talk about classroom management. What is the classroom management? Classroom management is what is classroom. It is what it is about classroom. What what is inside the classroom? Okay, so here we have an explanation of classroom management. is a very complicated issue in the field of education. It resembles a surgery operation in heart clinic. It can consists of diverse linguistic, communicative, and social social aspects. Among these features are the lesson plan, okay? So this is this should be in, in the classroom. The lesson plan, the syllabus taught, okay? Uh, the, the techniques used, uh, the, the methods of teaching, as well as teaching support. Ruhi, Ruhi, Minna, Ruhi, Ruhi, Labuch, Ruhi. Shawan Warta, Hai Allah. Hai, Hai. هاي المحاضرات الفيديوية Classroom management is almost always influenced by institute regularities students background, teachers background, outside institute environment and education goals Moreover, in recent years, lots of research studies have essentially focused on technology application in the institutes of education of course we have some changes now we have coronavirus and we have uh, a shift okay in in the way in the in the methods of teaching and education technology equipment for example now we have smart boards smartphones ipad i tool projectors computers okay programs apps have become part of classroom environment this is what is a classroom management here it is a summary with the effective roles of teachers in a classroom here we have three points three main points should be studied when we talk about the duties of teachers in a classroom okay uh, we have abc number one teachers appropriate classroom here language what can be language can be appropriate to both learners and the subject okay if the teacher pays close attention to instruction given okay if you if what if this if the teacher uh, focuses on instruction given enlisting information problematic learners following learning explaining new ways as well as group maintaining okay if the teacher what if the teacher pays close attention to these things so language can be appropriate to one P 
appropriate for both. Okay? Of course, the teacher has to what? To pay attention to instruction, to rules given by the Ministry of Education. Okay? But what we find here, uh, that our teachers, I mean, Iraqi teachers, do not follow, do not follow the instructions, do not follow the, the, the rules, how to teach English, for example, how to teach English in schools. They use their own methods of teaching. They use their own methods, their own ways. Okay? Ma anzalallah biha sultan Or, some of them, no, they have traditional views, and still they are what? They are using these uh, traditional views. Some mix between traditional and modern, and some, what? Some do not know what to do, what to teach. They teach as they like. They have their own way of teaching, and this is completely wrong. Teacher, teacher's instructions are always given to inform students what to do and how at different steps of EFL teaching, okay? To, to do so, teachers have to follow certain procedures. These are procedures involve standards, standard stall, book on chess, instruction should be clear, complete, concise, and correct. You have to speak slowly and reasonably. You have to demonstrate or exemplify the final instruction, check question, should be given to learners, okay? You as a teacher, you have to do this. You have to ask question, you have to get the answers, then finally what you have, this kind of questions, which is called check question, check, what is check question, for example, do you understand? Do you have any question, okay? In addition, teachers attempt to use a particular technique to explain and clarify new words. You have to use a new technique to clarify the new words or structures, okay? They do this through bringing realia, okay? media, drawing charts, showing photos. Sometimes teachers do acting or miming, okay? Sometimes the teacher should act in method of style. Most start knowing. You get the Macan sitting on a place just uh, explaining or reading or asking questions. No, the teachers should be actors. They should act. They should use mime, miming, use gestures, facial expressions to get the idea closer to learners' minds. Okay? So you have to use every means to get the idea clear to the students. Number two, teacher's responsibilities in classroom management. The teacher is an actor. You see here, as I told you, the teacher is what? Is an actor. He can play a number of roles. What are the roles he is he playing? He or she? Planner. Okay, the teacher is a planner. You plan. You have a plan and you plan everything. You plan the what class? What to do? Not at the same time. Not you have a class and now you want to do everything. No. You have to plan. Now you plan what to do. For tomorrow. For example, tomorrow I have a class, I have a lesson. Now I have to plan for tomorrow. Not what? Without a plan. Without a plan is like going to a uh, football game, game, match, okay? And you don't have a plan. You go and tell the players to play. Like you t tell your, so, so your students to speak or to write or to uh, ask them and you want them to answer your Sorry, you want them to answer your questions, but the best way is what? Is you have to plan everything. You have to put a plan, and then when you go to a class, you have a plan, and you can do everything. Manager, you have to manage. You are the manager. You are the boss. Okay? You have to manage everything inside the class. Imagine that you are in a company and you are a manager and you have employees and how to do to deal with them so you have to be what manager manage everything inside the class facilitator sorry facilitator so you have to facilitate to make things simple easy for students okay you have to simplify everything for students not to complicate matters but you have to what? To make things simple. 
not to use, for example, some some teachers, I know some teachers, they sometimes when they speak English, or some of them who can speak English, or who are very good in English, they what? They try to use uh, difficult words. Difficult words. Complex words. This is wrong. When you speak, you have to use the simplest words to make what? To make communication easy for everyone, understandable, comprehensible. Okay? So you have to be what? To be facilitator. Counselor. Okay? You have to cancel everything. Counselor. Okay? Advisor. You advise your students. You advise them. You tell them this is wrong, this is right. You have to do this, you have to do this. You are good students, you are not good. You have to develop yourself and do do everything. Diagnostician. It is from the di uh, diagnose. Okay? Yani, uh, sh sh so you have to know your students. To know every student. To know this student. Everyone. Okay? The, you 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 can see that some teachers some some teachers know their students some teachers do not know their students and there's something wrong you have to know your teach your your students you as a teacher you have to know you have to know everyone when someone comes to you you have to tell him now for example for me I know you all of you when students come to me I know uh, I know flan 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 so on so on so on so on okay why because this is the job of the teacher. If you don't know your students, this is what? This is completely a big problem. Okay, so these are very important. In order to get an excellent classroom management, the teacher must perform all these duties within each single lesson. In single lesson, you see here. The process of teaching learning can be carefully planned by class teachers. As I told you, teachers choose materials, you see. You choose materials and tasks for lesson. They prepare tasks and exercises to match the levels of learners. Teachers can anticipate the problems and find solutions. You see, you as a teacher, you have to participate. You have to anticipate the problems and you have to find solutions. Sometimes there are certain problems and you have to solve them. Okay? And we have so many points. I can't explain this because of time. I have, but maybe later on I will talk about the problems that you find inside the classroom and how to avoid these problems with what, what we have or what we call problem solving problem solve very important they can adapt text and plan lessons number three teachers criticism and evaluation of his or her performance this is very very important here you as a teacher you have to evaluate yourself you crit criticize yourself how to evaluate yourself Okay, you have to develop or to have self-development. Okay, here you can read this. How to develop from first day, the teacher talk time is gradually reduced and the student, you see here, inside, for example, here we have the instructors, language should be checked to know whether it is low or to the level of the students or high. So you can record yourself, tape yourself, video yourself, okay? Record to see, for example, you are uh, you are quick, you are slow, uh, you have problems in teaching, you don't ask your students. This is very important. You as a teacher, you have to evaluate yourself, or you can, for example, ask your 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 uh, mentor or I mean mentor person who has experience more than you in in school. Or, for example, your colleague, okay, another teacher, to ask him to visit you. There should be visitors between teachers. This is very important. We, we don't have it in Iraq, and this is completely wrong. We don't have that teachers visit each other, and this is completely uh, not right. Okay, the teachers should visit each other. They should evaluate each other. They should... Uh, focus and try to solve certain problems okay so this is uh, about performance you have to see your performance you have to develop yourself even now for me sometimes when I record a video I try to listen to my video more than once to check myself whether I'm a, I am quick 
over the I I was slow for example I was quick uh, uh, I didn't focus on certain points okay the way of introducing or presenting the lecture this is very important and of course you need feedback from your, your students you need feedback feedback can you talk tell the Raja feedback from your students to tell them what what are what what do you like and what you don't like about me write on papers write on papers what you you don't like what you like about me this is very important okay i i remember once of i remember once that uh, six years ago one of the students wrote something to me i i check it i i told myself yes yes is thank you for the students thank you so much for the students i didn't know this okay i didn't know it it was um, out of my control how i did this without my knowing oh thank you so much it was very good point very good note a very good criticism you see here so you need feedback from your teachers from three three first you need it from yourself you have to criticize yourself as a teacher. Number two, you have to have a criticism or evaluation or uh, notes from other teachers and also from students. You see, here the teacher has to ensure that the error correction is done or not I'm done, etc. You see, here is is the praise given to students. So is it verbal? Okay, if you praise your student. Oh, I praise my students. Is it good or not? Okay. Some, for example, uh, uh, we have gone to schools and we have seen this. Some teachers do not say very good when the students answer. Okay. So this is what this is feedback. We told them you have to say very good, excellent, right, etc. You see, these are very important for you. I will talk about them in details. Here we have the roles of students. I will just uh, talk about the first. Yeah, the roles of students because it takes a lot. Contribute to class culture and accountability. Okay, you have to read it. When students are invited to provide input in the classroom, they are more likely to hold each other accountable. See, for for a teacher, that should mean less teacher to students directive. Be inquisitive. Okay, you have to be curious should be expected to ask questions that nurture their curiosity okay be active participants not passive as i told you remember I told you how to have what to be what to be active participants not what not passive you have to be active you have to come to school to prepare to participate tell your students now i'm telling you like you prepare well read participate speak Okay, follow engagement maximizes opportunity. Full engagement maximizes opportunity, chance for learning, and set the tone of the for a classroom. Okay, this includes, but it's not limited, asking, answering, completing in the class assignments. Okay, aligning behavior, etc. Take personal accountability. Okay, students should always acknowledge that they are part of learning. You are parting. What well, now? You are part of learning. So your students will be both parting of a learning community. Each person is responsible for taking ownership of their action in a way that values, etc. You see here? So you as students, you have to participate. You have mind, you have brain, you have to think, you have to read, you have to depend on yourself. Not everything you, what, you depend on teacher and this is completely wrong. No. What is the difference between you and teacher? Just when you com complete this year, you are what? You are a teacher. Just months, less than a year. So now you are able to think. You are able to read. You are able to depend on yourself. Just you need what? Supervisor. You need a mentor. You need a monitor. You need a guide. Okay? Then in the future, you don't need. You will be this. You imagine that after one year, you will be a planner, manager, facilitator, counselor, and diagnostician, and so many others, guide, mentor, everything, see? 
So here you teacher, you can create these opportunities. You can name it, securities, etc. You have to read this, okay? Because of time, you have to read this and understand it. Because it's easy. In short, this is in short, conclusion, the conclusion of this. Teachers are responsible for maintaining a positive learning environment. You as teachers, are, this is your responsibility, duty. Managing classroom is not an easy task. Not easy. It is very difficult. You will teach inside the classroom and you will see that teaching is very, what? Very difficult. Managing is very difficult. Classroom that is out of control yields lower achievement. You see? If you don't control your class, what, you will, what kind of achievement? Low, not high. For students on high burnout rates for teachers. Teachers must implement structure, develop positive student interaction, and take immediate action when problems arise. You see, when there are problems, you have to take what? Direct, immediate action. Maintaining control from the beginning provides what? From the beginning. Provides a foundation for effective classroom management. We have so many points about this. We missed, of course, so many points. If you have these points, you can comment, you can participate, and we will have a, a lecture about this. I will explain this with you. I will discuss the points, and you will have, if you have any points, any opinions, I will be happy to listen from you, okay? Uh, let me be what? Let me be active, and you what? I'm sorry, passive, and you active. What is important about teaching, and you have to put it in your mind, that the teachers should speak less, and the students should speak more. Thank you so much.